former Patriot, Ezekiel Elliott, is excited to join a new team, the Dallas Cowboys. Now, the Cowboys haven't won a Super Bowl since I had a cassette player in a car that my father bought me at a state auction in Connecticut. But Zeke says, you know what? Wow. It's time. You're really living high on the hog <laughs> as a kid. It was rough. Dad out here buying cars, cash at auctions? I like that. I mean, I think it was 900 <laughs> you know, <laughs> Time we talk Super Bowl. I have a lot left to accomplish here. I'm excited to get back with the fellas and chase that ring. From 2016, we've been working on building this franchise to get it to a chance to win the Super Bowl. That's obviously priority, bro. That's the bar. <clears throat> Your reaction. <laughs> well, for, let me start here. This is just further proof. Oh, here we go. Of what I've been telling you, of the fact, not a feeling. Oh, if he did the fact that I've been telling you two for now, I don't know, a year and a half or so, mm -hmm. that the Dallas Cowboys always were, always are, and always will be S. Bob. Super Bowl or bust. They are Super Bowl or bust. So Zeke goes in there, and he's, he's only been there a day now. Mm -hmm. And he's saying, that's the first thing out of his mouth, we are S. Bob. He might as well have said, like Bruce said, we're S. Bob. I'm all right? surprised he is. Now, here's the problem. The Cowboys are, they don't know how to properly pursue the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's a challenge. Right. No, I mean, they, that's why they haven't won one in nearly three decades. They don't know how to properly pursue it. They're too excited. They're too immature. They haven't had enough success lately. It's like the young lady that wants to get married. Okay. Okay. I was and on the first nervous. date. She brings it up. She brings up marriage. Okay, all right. That's, that's the Cowboys. Yes. It's not wrong that she wants to get married, but you got to go slow. Take it slow. Take it one day at a time, one game at a time, one week at a time. That's what I would tell the young lady, and that's what I'm telling the Cowboys. Slow your roll. Okay. It's good that you're asked, Bob. But okay, I, I <laughs> once again do not care about banal offseason quotes. Okay. I do care well, time, about time. Can we throw the flag? Yeah, yeah. We have a full Thank bulletin you. board filled with people who Great dare work, mention, Wiles. hey, you know what? I think our team's pretty good. We hope to give the Chiefs a, a, a tough battle. Put them on the board. <laughs> Put them, Dusty, bring out the board. Absolutely. Okay, well done, that, I, I know. Continue. As the, as the we kids could would, not let that fly. Uh, well, listen, just, as the kids would say, uh, I know you think you cooked there. <laughs> But <laughs> if if I may respond to that, Kevin, you, you could. Uh, Thank you, bro. I'm not a kid. But having <laughs> been at the last two Chiefs Super Bowl parades, yes. Rightly or wrongly, do they use any quote from someone else as motivation? Does that team yes. take any? Okay, Big correct, time. right. So I do think that is relevant. I do not think. The off-season pablum of any new draft pick or signing saying the goal is to win a championship without mentioning any other team or taking any other shots is actually part of a problem or a solution mm -hmm. or anything. It is just words out into the ether that mean nothing. With that said, I do think the Cowboys have had a bad offseason. I don't think it's because of Micah's podcast or Zeke's quote. It's because, Brew, they got to the point where they had to sign Zeke. That's the problem. They clearly planned on drafting a running back. Makes sense. 20 were drafted. Yeah. And so I understand, <laughs> like, I, the 20 were drafted. So why didn't the Cowboys get one? Well, it's twofold. The guy they hoped to draft in round two, Jonathan Brooks, that Jerry talked about and I think maybe momentarily thought they had, uh, he, he must go, went been. 10 picks ahead of where they, where they were drafting. And then the Cowboys actually, because of, I think, a savvy trade back, got their guy in the first round and added a pick. They had extra picks in this draft. There was one round, they had zero picks, the fourth round. In that round, six running backs were taken. The, there's always a run on positions. Mm -hmm. The run on tackles came at the end of round one. The run on wide receivers happened kind of in the bridge from end of round one into round two. The run on corners happened right after. Are you right making after. an excuse for them? No, I think they got caught. You know, they, 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 they got caught looking, basically. But they, I, they, there's they, no excuse for them to have had to sign Ezekiel Elliott. No, that, as right now, kind of like their best back. No, I, I mean, that's why I, I'm agreeing. It certainly okay. was not their plan. I'm saying they screwed up. 
They got too cute in the draft where they had a big need at running back and decided against addressing it when, once Jonathan Brooks was there with one of their two third-round picks thinking, ah, we've got multiple fifth-round picks, we'll get them there. And then there was the run on backs. And then they didn't want to take any of the late-round picks. And now they are in a weird spot. So that plus the indecision at contracts and stuff, I think it's a bad offseason. Yeah. I just don't give a damn about this quote. I don't. If he had said, we're going to kick the Eagles' ass, that to me is noteworthy because it's giving your opponent motivation. This is just, we've been trying to win the Super Bowl for a decade. I don't care about that. <laughs> I mean, he said the sky's the limit. How's that different than I'm chasing He's greatness? talking about working. That, if no, he were that, a cowboy, here's what he would have said. Okay, you know what? So yeah, weird. me and Jalen were the best receiver, quarterback duo in the league, and we're about to win the Super Bowl. <laughs> That's what he would have said. Okay. All right, but he's not. He's a Philadelphia uh -huh. Eagle, so he uh -huh. showed some restraint. Uh huh. All right, go ahead. Better bet to win the NFC East. It's easy. I, this is so easy, it shouldn't even be a question. Okay. Well, Vegas wanna... thinks it's exactly the even. Vegas schmegas. I mean, look, <laughs> one of these teams has been, I'm talking about the core of these teams. Yep. One of their cores has been to a Super Bowl in the last two years. The other core has had playoff embarrassment, foible, disappointment after playoff embarrassment, foible, disappointment, year after year. Yep. That's what the Cowboys but do. But their cores – but this is – okay. Secondly, one of these teams has had a terrific offseason, and the other team has had, by your words, a bad offseason. Okay, good. What's the one of these teams has great vibes? Yeah. They just signed their two receivers who are very good, my, yeah. arguably the best two receiving duo in the league, or one of them. Sure. All right. They got them on contract extensions. They're feeling great about themselves. And they drafted two defensive backs, which we know they need to improve their defense, and they got a few other defensive yeah. players as well. Yeah. And not to mention okay. they added one of the best running backs in the league. Yeah, pretty good. So, okay. this is – and one, one so, team doesn't have a – they okay, got so Rico Dowdles. Right, so, running back. Right, so, this is an outrageous – It's ridiculous. Okay, so it let, me, let, me, let me go step by step on how – and I rarely think this because you usually are pretty smart on this stuff. How Dallas? everything you just said was wrong. Okay. You, the question is not better bet to win the Super Bowl. So I don't really care about what core has been to the Super Bowl. I know this. In the last three years, the, Dallas's core has won the division twice, and Philly's core has won the division once. I know that. So the question is about the division. But, the, okay, by that, yeah. that history, mm -hmm. every last time a team won I don't, it back-to-back -back was 23 years. The, yeah. the, so it's, it's Philly's turn. The, okay, I don't know that I buy that, but that's fine. Well, the second thing you said was about the off-seasons. Which team had the emotional leader and future first ballot Hall of Famer walk oh, away? Stop it. Uh, hold on. Stop it. What do you mean? What do you mean stop it? The Cowboys. I mean stop the, it. Their offensive line Brew, still is legit. Brew, I know this. You have made and it. And the Cowboys have, lost Hall of Famers Brew, on their offensive line too. You have made too. it out to be that the loss of Biotish is more impactful than the loss oh, of no, Kelsey. no, and Tyron Smith. And too. so, no, I understand that. The oh, Cowboys, that's two. The I Cowboys used Biotish. their first round pick to address He's that. He's going to be Tyron Smith? No, oh, well, okay. I, well, no, I hope he's a he project. Plays, he, I hopefully, the he plays, from Oklahoma. hopefully he plays more games than Tyron Smith. But set that aside. You also have just just asserted that the Eagles have good vibes. I don't know that that's true at all. They've paid people and, and the vibes weren't so bad that A.J. Brown was like, I don't want the seventy two million dollars. I don't know that that is uh, that is really or ninety six million. I, I that evidence of great vibes. You also said they improved in ways I don't know that's true. I don't know that adding Vic Fangio and Kellen Moore, both of whom were in new jobs last year, got fired from those jobs after one year. Kellen Moore, we have no evidence, is a good offensive coordinator. None. And Vic Fangio, whose was defense okay was Dallas. a bunch of, what did you call it? Let me think. Break dancers all well, year was long. the nature of the play. Okay, well, again... I don't know that Philly had a good offseason. They lost a potential really? Hall of Famer in Fletcher Cox. They lost a definite Hall of Famer in Jason Kelsey. Of the, you don't like the additions on the defensive no, side of the ball? No, I do like the okay. draft picks. I do like their Saquon first two Barkley, draft picks. not going to help? I don't really. I, I think you don't he, like running backs, but that no, dude can run the ball. No, I, he can talk to man. But listen, I think Eagles' problem last year was not that they were, didn't have an A-level running back. I thought their running game last year was quite good, actually. So the idea that Philly had this wonderful offseason 
and that we are just going to gloss over the fact that of every team in the league, including the Panthers, nobody, the most recent time we've seen them play football was playing worse than Philly. They have lost six of seven, including getting blasted by the Bucs, blasted by the Cowboys, blasted by the Niners, losing twice to the Giants, losing to the Cardinals. The idea that we're just going to say that didn't happen, you it happened. You think they're going to come into this year and play the way they did over I, the last six what weeks? I, am, what I, am, I don't think they're going to be the worst team in football like they were for the last two months, but I think just saying supernatural funk is not, is not a reality. No, they made changes. They, but what? why did that happen? And why won't it? Obviously, again? it would had something to do with the coordinators. I don't. I don't think so. They had already. They could have eased. They could have got Bill Belichick. Well, the, yeah, and that was the insane. players are still behind Sirianni. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.